and welcome to week 19 of Fluency Task Cards. This week we are featuring the novel The Hunger Games, which I've read this entire series. It is fantastic. You may have seen the movies as well. Both are good. The book's always better though, I hate to tell you. Uh, remember this week you're going to read your cards each day and you can turn in your summary to me anytime. Let's review what fluent readers do. Fluent readers, they read accurately. They read with expression, they read smooth and notice punctuation, and they comprehend what they read. All right, here we go. So before I start, I just want to tell you, just to make sure you understand if you're not familiar with the series, they're going to talk about, let me find it here. It's just here. Oh, the reaping. Okay, so our main character named Katniss is going to start talking about this town. She lives in District 12, and it's called the reaping. And so what that means is the government um, requires two people from each district. So it's kind of like their states. Um, and they have to do the Hunger Games. So they basically have to be the last one to survive. And this is punishment for when all of the districts tried to overthrow the government. So it's this dystopian type novel. And dystopia means that the characters in the story are living in terrible conditions because of their government, okay? So because of in the past they tried to overthrow them, this is their punishment and they call it the reaping. All right, here we go. When I wake up, the other side of the bed is cold. My fingers stretch out, seeking Prim's warmth, but finding only the rough canvas cover of the mattress. She must have had bad dreams and climbed in with our mother. Of course she did. This is the day of the reaping. I prop myself up on one elbow. There's enough light in the bedroom to see them. My little sister Prim, curled up on her side, cocooned in my mother's body. I swing my legs off the bed and slide into my hunting boots, supple leather, leather that was modeled to my feet. I pull on trousers, a shirt, tuck my long dark braid up into a cap, and grab my forage bag. On the table, under a wooden bowl to protect it from hungry rats and cats alike, sits a perfect little goat cheese wrapped in basil leaves. Prim's gift to me on reaping day. I put the cheese carefully in my pocket as I slip outside. Our part of District 12, nicknamed Seam, is usually crawling with coal miners heading out to the morning shift at this hour. It's too bad, really, that they hold the reaping in the square, one of the few places in District 12 that can be pleasant. The square is surrounded by shops, and on public market days, especially if there's good weather, it has a holiday feel to it. But today, despite the bright banners hanging on the buildings, there's an air of grimness. The camera crews perch like buzzards on rooftops only add to the effect. People file in silently and sign in. The reaping is a good opportunity for the capital to keep tabs on the population as well. 12 through 18 year olds are herded into roped areas marked off by ages. The oldest in the front and the young ones like prim towards the back. Family members line up around the perimeter, holding tightly to one another's hands. It's time for the drawing, Effie Trinket says as she always does. Ladies first and crosses the glass crosses to the glass ball with the girls' names. Primrose Everdeen? Prim! The strangled cry comes up from out of my throat, and my muscles begin to move again. Prim! I don't need to shove through the crowd. The other kids make their way, make way immediately, allowing me a straight path to the stage. I reach her just as she is about to mount the steps. With one sweep of my arm, I push her behind me. I volunteer, I gasp. I volunteer as Tribune. There's some confusion on the stage. District 12 hasn't had a volunteer in decades, and the protocol has become rusty. Rusty. Lovely, says Effie Trinket. All right, so great reader summarize. Using the summary template from the Writing Revolution, go ahead and outline your summary. Give me a few words for who, what, when, where, why, and how. Now, our main character, it was for first person point of view, so she never said her name. Um, our main character is Katniss Everdeen. So if you need her name, go ahead and have that um, and just do a 
do what you can on spelling. So Katniss Everdeen is our main character. And once you have that outline complete, go ahead and turn it into complete sentences for me and turn it into me. Thank you for investing in yourself and you are on your way to better fluency.